Mervis Life. Right, this is a, a part part two of how to start diesel engines. I showed you a couple of days ago on how to start uh, a tractor, so that was a, a lawnmower. Uh, but this is a digger, okay? These are very much the same situation, but because they're usually, well mine's older, so is the other one and so is our dumpers. Okay, they are older, so you need to be extra careful with these because they probably will use it up quicker. So, locate the end of the cover. You can never get it in there with these Same again, okay? Boil and oil. Just a recap, boil means water and oil means you want to check the, temp the, the oil levels. Okay? So first of all, radiator, okay? I'll boil. Take the cap off. Have a look in, okay? So I can put my finger there and I can quite easily touch the water, which means there's enough water. If I can, about an inch down is really your limit. If you can't touch any more than that, you need to dip it a top up, okay? Brilliant, that's not coming off. Next again, it's your, your oil, okay? So, find yourself a cloth, dipstick. Remember, I'm not calling my cameraman a dipstick, okay? Wipe it, really give it a good wipe. The two lines, remember, there's one there, and there's one there. Okay, put it back inside the engine, push it all the way in, pull it all the way out. Okay, so we've actually got a bit much in there. Okay, but that's fine because this machine is going to be doing a lot of heavy work in the next couple of days. But actually, this is going to get used up. If this were going to be sitting or maybe not going to be starting for a while, I'd probably consider taking a little bit out. So I know that the boil, the water and the oil are A-OK. -okay. okay? Collapse this down. Okay, come on over. So, there's another component, and that's you want to check your fuel. Fortunately, this machine has got a fuel warning light. See, so I know that when I use this machine last, the fuel was okay. Okay, and no one else has used it. Now, you may be wondering, okay, this is an old machine, or oh, it's probably probably donkey chill. doesn't matter how old your machine is, you always need to be checking the boil and oil, every time. Right, so we've checked the fuel, we know that's fine. Okay, we've checked everything else. So now we need to go to the starting procedure. Okay, so on this machine, you need to bring the throttle, okay, this, this far, far, far the back, bring it back until it clicks, see if you can hear it. Okay, that means that's in the right position to start. Okay, then I'm going to turn the key, counterclockwise so I can see if you remember those little coils there the glow plugs need to be warmed so I'm warming the glow plugs again and because this is of course an older machine it'll take a while usually it's around six seconds to warm the glow plug okay there we go off it goes so now I turn it the other way give it a minute to warm up okay but because this is a, this is a, a digger it also needs time the hydraulic pressure to build up. Okay? I mean, I know the hydraulic oil on this is enough. Okay? So you remember, oil and oil, check the water, water in the radiator, the oil in the bottom of the, of the engine, the fuel if you haven't got a fuel indicator light, and if it's a digger, check the hydraulic oil, because if that runs out, then you're scuffing. This is now this, and now I'm going to raise it up slowly again. So now it's on full revs, I'm still going to give it a couple more minutes just to warm because this machine is starting from cold, okay? And now we're good to go. So for any task you need to do, remember, boil and oil, fuel and oil. Job done.